Hello, and welcome to SPR's What's on Tech. My name is Melissa McElroy, Senior Director at SPR. SPR's What's on Tech video series is a place to share what's going on in today's modern technology and ask our SPR experts to explore what's important when creating world-class solutions. We've been helping organizations evolve their testing strategies to include automated testing to allow testing to coincide with the speed of development and sprint-based release cycles, which is why I've invited Victoria, SPR's software engineer in test, to join us to discuss modern test strategies. Happy to join the conversation. Thanks for having me. Transitioning to automated testing is a journey of maturity, not necessarily a quick endeavor with changes to tools, resources, responsibilities, and processes. With that in mind, Victoria, what do you think is the biggest challenge when starting an automation journey? I think the biggest challenge of starting an automation journey is the learning curve for teams who historically have only done manual testing. Automated testing introduces complex technical concepts and a variety of tools and programming languages. Testers must understand programming logic and automation frameworks and have the ability to conceptualize and implement efficient automation solutions. I agree. The learning curve can definitely be steep. I also think it can be tough for organizations to accept that in order to make progress in the test automation space, they're gonna see a temporary decrease in velocity to be successful. But once things are in place, the gains are definitely worth it. As an automation tester who formally did manual testing, I'd love to hear your perspective on what you think are the top skills needed when learning how to develop and deploy automated tests. Yeah, I think the top skills every automation tester must have are number one, problem solving skills. These are crucial to identify issues quickly and efficiently when running into issues and handling dynamic elements and debugging failures, for example. Number two, patience. Test automation can be time consuming, especially when setting up test frameworks, writing scripts and dealing with unexpected issues. Number three, extremely detail oriented, especially when debugging and optimizing processes. You need a keen eye for detail because small oversights can lead to false positives or negatives. Number four, ability to think like a developer, writing efficient, maintainable, reusable, scalable automation code. Clean code is easier to read, understand, and maintain, and it reduces the likelihood of introducing bugs. Victoria, I think those are great insights, and they're really helpful for managers as they look to upskill their team members and also hiring new resources to add to their crew. Thank you. Once organizations shift left, meaning that testers begin activities sooner in the software development lifecycle, and they have an automated testing team in place, what do you find most valuable about the transition to automated testing? That's a good question. Automated testing, especially when integrated early in the shift left approach, brings immense value to the software development process. The top three benefits are, number one, it enables us to simulate user interactions accurately, replicating real user workflows within the application. This transition fosters enhanced collaboration between the business, test engineers, and developers, and it leads to more effective testing strategies and early detection of bugs. Um, number two, automated testing also significantly reduces the time needed to verify software builds. We're not just talking about efficiency here, but also the capability to conduct extensive data-driven testing. This approach allows consistent execution of a wide range of test data variants. With a robust test automation framework, we can easily execute hundreds or even thousands of data points by simply fitting data into a single test case. Number three, automated testing is invaluable in executing repetitive regression tests. Automation of these repetitive tasks and the ability to perform concurrent test executions reduce the time for regression testing exponentially. This optimizes resource usage and perfectly aligns with Agile and DevOps practices, such as continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD. 
Ultimately, this approach significantly enhances product quality and customer satisfaction, allowing for early detection and resolution of defects in the development process. That was really helpful. There's so much to unpack in the test automation space. Thank you for sharing your insights and for joining SPR's What's on Tech.